Hey everybody, Mr. Williams here. This is our last unbelievable truth. So, get your paper and pen ready to jot down your five truths uh, amidst all the lies. And today we're going to do armadillos. Silly little armadillos. Um, they're probably all of our favorite animals as well. So, ready, steady. When the first armadillo specimen was sent to the Natural History Museum in 1832, the curators thought someone must have shaved a piglet and dressed it in bits of armor. It was only when Charles Darwin examined the specimen himself that they realized it actually was a shaved bit, piglet in bits of armor. Armadillo shells have been used to make so many different things. They've been used to make Aztec hard hats, Peruvian mandolins, and Brazilian soccer balls. In fact, they made such good soccer balls that they became the 2014 world soccer mascot. Heston Blumenthal has been known to serve armadillo steaks in his restaurants. Disgusting. According to Heston, however, the flavor is really similar to cats. I don't know how he knew that. However, if you're in town when they cook pink flamingo armadillos, you're in for a treat because they taste like chicken and cotton candy. In the 1980s, there were reports of Mexican drug barons using the armadillo for smuggling Kinder Surprises into America. Up to a kilo of Kinder Surprises can be packed under the shell of a fully grown adult male. Plus, the pungent smell of the armadillo makes the chocolate undetectable by sniffer dogs. The scheme only came to light when one of the customs officers peeled back the shell of the armadillo and found the treats and that armadillos are really just shaved piglets. The armadillo, however, is a carrier of more diseases than any other mammal in the world. A third of all Americans who will suffer from leprosy and the plague get it from armadillos. The screaming hairy armadillo is a fearsome monster. It's up to 20 feet long with googly eyes and 100 teeth. Luckily, it spends most of its life stuck in such a deep sleep that you can't even wake it up, even if you hit it with a broom. On the other hand, the pink, flare, pink fairy armadillo looks just like a furry prawn or a furry shrimp. And in Argentina, it's specially bred for Christmas, where they traditionally place it on top of the Christmas tree. And that's everything I know about armadillos. Thank you and goodbye.